Okay, let's move on to this circuit here. And uh, again, this is voltage, uh, nodal voltage analysis here, okay? Okay, so first step, finding out number of nodes. Okay, here, uh, see, I'm gonna say this is my VA, okay? And it's connected to the 10 volt battery, so we know VA is going to be 10 volt. Okay, uh, this is gonna be uh, my, another node right here, and I'm gonna say this is my VB, okay? Uh, there's another node right here. Uh, this is going to be, you know what, I can also just have, it's already there, right? This dot node right here, this is VA, okay? VA equals to 10. VB, this is VC, and then this is uh, your VD. Okay, remember VD is going to be zero volt because it's connected to the ground. So VA, VB, VC, VD. So we have number of nodes. Uh, for solve for the easy nodes, we know VA is going to be 10 volts here, correct? Uh, we also know that VD is going to be uh, zero volts here, okay? Let's now work on the direction of the current, and that's pretty simple because we only have one source here. So current is gonna flow from here, uh, go this way, some of it will go this way, go this way, this will come back to this node, this goes here, goes here, this goes here, this goes here, and then all these currents will go to the crown and then follow back along to the negative terminal of the battery. Okay, so that was pretty simple. Um, let's now do apply KCL at node VB. Okay, and again, just for the sake of Okay, this is your VB, okay. Okay, um, say this is your R1, this is your R2, this is your R3, this is your R4, and this is your R5, okay. So the current going through across R1 is going to be uh, I1, okay. So this is I1 here. Okay, this is I2 here. Um, this is I3, this is I4 right here, and this is I5, okay? All right, so at VB, which is this right here, current coming in is I1, okay? Leaving is I2 and I3, okay? So if I put it in an equation format, I basically get what? I1 equals to, I2 plus I3, let's apply Ohm's law and put it in a, uh, I1 would be what? I1 will be the potential difference between these two, okay? Uh, and because we know the direction of the current is this, we know that VA is going, has a higher potential than VB. So it's going to be VA minus VB over R1, okay? Let's now move on to I2, I2 is over here, so the potential difference between VB minus VD, that will be the voltage across this R2. VB minus VD over R2 plus I3. Uh, I3 is the current across this resistor, right? So the potential difference between VB and VC is going to be the voltage across R3 over R3, okay? Now let's plug in the values. We know VA is 10 volts here, correct? 10 minus VB. R1 is what, one kilo ohms, so I'll just say 1K equals to VB, we need to find out. VD is zero, R2 is 5K, plus we have VB minus VC, both are, um, we need to find out. And R3 is how much? R3 is 1K. Okay, 1K, okay. Now again, just for the sake of simplicity, I'm going to multiply this whole equation by 5K. If I do that 5K. So remember that all these K in the denominator will cancel out, right? This, these, all these K big, big, from this K. Uh, and then what I would be left with is, so this will get 50, minus uh, five VB, correct? So five will multiply by uh, times five times five. So we'll get 50 minus five VB 
equals to times five. So you get five. Uh, yeah, but this five and this five will cancel out, right? So you get VB, okay? Five times zero is zero. Plus I have five VB minus five VC, all right? Let's now rearrange this equation. I'm gonna keep that 50 on the left-hand side of the equation and then take 5B here. So I will get what? VB plus VB, these two would make 6VB. 6VB plus 5, so that would be 11VB, right? Uh, and minus 5VC will be as it is. So this is going to be equation one, okay? I'm just gonna box it. Okay, let's now move on to the next uh, node. Let's now work on VC here. Okay, so apply KCL at node VC. Again, um, you have, uh, let's see, this is your VC here. Okay, so here at VC, the current coming in is I3. So this is going to be I3. You also have coming in, uh, entering this node, which is this right here, uh, I5. And then the current that's going this way is basically this current right here, which is I4, right? Is I4. So I'm just going to say I4 here. Okay, all right. Now put it in the expression format. I will get uh, I3 plus I5 equals to I4 uh, applying Ohm's law. I Ohm's law, uh, I equals to V over R. I3 will be the potential difference between uh, this VB here, this VB and VC here. So VB minus VC over R3, VB minus VC over R3 uh, plus I5. I5 is right here, correct? I5 is right here. Oops. This right here. So remember, uh, you have VA here and then you have VC here, right? Same thing. So the potential, because the current direction is this way, so the potential difference is going to be VA minus VC across these two nodes. VA minus VC over R5. So you get VA minus VC over R5, and that equals to uh, I4 current. I4 is here, correct? Uh, and then remember, you have VC here, and then this is what? VD, correct? VD equals to zero volts. So VC minus VD over R4. VC minus VD over R4. And so I'm gonna move this to say over here uh, and then plugging the values in there. Uh, VB minus VC over R3. R3 is how much? 1K plus VA. Is VA known? Yeah, VA is known. VA is 10 volts here, correct? So 10 minus VC over R5, R5 value is one kilo ohm. So I get one K here equals to VC minus VD. VD is zero. So that will be just VC minus zero. And then over R4, so R4 is one K, okay. Okay. Okay, and again, just for the sake of simplicity, I'm gonna apply this whole equation by 1K. So I will basically get what? VB minus VC plus 10 minus VC equals to VC, okay? Uh, and then 
if I rearrange this equation, how is the so equation one looks like this, right? So if I keep pen here on the left hand side and move everything to the right hand side, uh, so that I will get plus three VC and then minus VB, correct? All right. So and I'm gonna say this is my equation two. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and box it. Okay, now, uh, again, the next goal is to, uh, simultaneously we are going to solve for it, the two equations. I'm gonna put those two equations on top of each other. So, let me change the color here. So equation one, uh, 50 equals to uh, 11 VB minus uh, 5 VC, okay? And then equation 2 here, you have 10 equals to minus VB uh, plus 3 VC, okay? Uh, I'm going to have to again uh, make one coefficient same and I'm going to target v the coefficient for VC. Okay, so if I multiply uh, the equation one by three and then equation two by five, then I would have the coefficient for VC equals to 15. Correct? Okay, so uh, this equation will be what? 50 times three is 150 equals to 33 VB. Uh, minus 15 VC, correct? And then this equation will become what? Five times 10 is 50 equals to minus five VB. Uh, and then you have uh, five times three is 15 plus 15 VC, correct? So <clears throat> we just have to add these two, 15 minus 15 uh, will basically just cancel out. 150 plus 50 is going to be 200, and then 33 minus 5 VB will be 28 VB. So if I do the math here, uh, VB will come down to 7.14 volts, okay, All right? Uh, and also, if I put this 7.14 uh, in equation uh, VC, Oh, not VC. In any of these equations, in any of this equation, you put VB, you should be able to find VC. Uh, so let's do it real quick. I'm running out of space here. So let's see if I can do it over here. Equation one is, I'm going to use equation two because it's a lot more simpler, this right here. 10 equals to, 10 equals to minus VB plus 3VC plus VC, okay. We already have determined VB, which was 7.14. VB over here, 7.14 volts, correct? So VC will equal 10 plus VB over 3, okay? 10 plus VB is 7.14 over 3. And if you do the math over here, you'll get VC equals to 5.713 volts, okay? So this right here, as you were expecting, that VC is going to be smaller than VB because the direction of the current is like this. So VC is 5.713 volts, okay? All right, and then folks, once you have all these node voltages, that was the most important thing that you, uh, you know, had to find out. Um, once you have these node voltages known, okay, you can find out the current across R2, which would be what? Uh, VB over R2, right? So that will give you I2. VB is known, R2 is known, correct? Similarly, R4, this will be equals to, sorry, uh, back I4, uh, the equation will be VC over R4, correct? Uh, and similarly, I5 will equals to VA over, uh, VA minus VC 
over uh, R5. Uh, VA is already known, 10 volts. VC is 5.7. You plug in these values and calculate I5. And then, you know, if someone asks you like, hey, you're going to find the voltage also, so uh, power also, so power is a function of current and voltage, okay? So from these equations and this analysis, you should be able to find out the currents across all these voltages, uh, these components also.